and welcome to another edition of Stockwatch. So as we end the training week, I guess I couldn't leave out a Stockwatch video relating to pharmaceutical companies after not only the earnings season has been very, very buoyant for companies like Pfizer and Johnson Johnson, but also we've had negative news recently as well about the suspension of jabs. So, you know, Pfizer uh, have seen their sales jump to 1.4 billion dollars and this is mainly thanks to not only a good rollout that it's had but also probably to competitors blunders as well you know AstraZeneca and Johnson Johnson are seeing rare side effects of their uh, inoculation and actually the suspension in a lot of countries so things have gone downhill especially for AstraZeneca in particular because being a UK based drug company the rollout in the EU countries and UK as well was supposed to be quick and efficient but it hasn't been the case you know it was supposed to deliver over 120 million doses in the EU in in the first quarter but that um, was revised to 30 million and now it's promised to deliver 90 million in Q2 but already that's been played down to 70 million so you know we have to just wait and see what's going on with the company because you know after these very uh, very very negative news that it's had about uh, life-threatening conditions Pfizer have you know overtaken them and they appear to be in the COVID-19 driving seat uh, especially for now but that hasn't really hindered Johnson Johnson's Q1 sales as that has been over a hundred million dollars but then again is that about to be hampered because in Q2 when the news has broken that some countries have actually suspended the jab um, is this going to actually have a knock-on effect for Q2 sales as well and also you know is America about to turn their back on Johnson & Johnson you know they, they have to probably guess they could it was supposed to be quite a savior johnson johnson because the vox vaccination was stored at room temperature and also required a single dosage so um you know with, with all the negative headlines that have been on the jab and you know I, I including a contract to mix up as well that has ruined 15 million dosages it's uh, hard to think that q2 profits are going to outweigh q1 profits as well so Looking at Pfizer, first of all, today, we've seen a bit of a dramatic sell-off in the last 24 hours, which has led prices lower. And what I'm looking at at the moment, if prices still keep waning, um, I'll be looking to see if we can probably get to early March figures where it was actually at the lower end of $30. So what I'll be looking for at the first, um, well, in this trading day, is to see if prices will start falling towards the Ichimoku cloud. And then we can have a real go at a good sell position uh, to the lower end of $30. From what I can see here, you know, we're looking at divergences on the RSI. You could say this is a slight bearish divergence after the momentum did fall quite dramatically on the RSI yesterday. But, you know, just keep warned that um, prices could spike up because Pfizer is also, you know, as I say, leading the race in the vaccination war as well for COVID-19. So Johnson Johnson, more interestingly enough, you know, we're seeing a bit of a slide in prices in the last 24 hours after the earnings report. Uh, you know, this is this candlestick here. Uh, it's been very, very momentous for the company. But, you know, you could say we're seeing a slight bearish divergence on the RSI and this could lead prices slightly lower. If we do go, I'll be looking to see if we fall through the psychological 160 zone, which is down here, which is at the lower border of the Ichiboku cloud uh, at present. So these are just something to look out for in the next few trading sessions. Johnson Johnson, as I said, with um, <coughs> excuse me, AstraZeneca, we had suspensions in a lot of European countries, but then they started to obviously use them again because the benefits outweigh the risks you know if you inoculate 100 million people and let's say unfortunately 10 or 20 of those people have like fatal or irreversible side effects then it's not really a reason to stop the jab same as johnson johnson as well they're just probably going to look at their data and even though there have been some countries that have suspended the jab they'll probably start using them again because as i said it's a little bit more easier to use johnson johnson you know the one shot jab and not having to be stored at you know zero degree temperatures as well well sub-zero temperatures as well so just something to keep in mind when we're looking at pharmaceutical companies and also trading with them so as i said just looking to see if prices keep waning on the downside then i'll be looking at the psych psychological 160 zone and if we can push through and then we'll be looking at these recent uh troughs here roughly about the mid 155 region 
and then to the lower 150 region as well, depending on what the RSI can bring us for further clues going forward. So that's all from the stock watch today. Hope you had a great trading day yesterday and hope you have another one today and have a great weekend ahead. And if you have any comments or queries, as usual, please feel free to add them to the post and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Have a great trading day ahead and bye for now. Thank you.